What's going on everyone? This is Carl the Solution. This is the Solution to Fitness and today we're hitting a leg workout. Okay guys, this is day one of my six day workout routine series. Let's just say today is Sunday. And set his legs, be prepared to leave the gym like... So today I'm rocking the chinos. Uh, I started to put these on so you can see how your legs are going to look. And you have some nice fitted pants on. Because you know, like Abraham Lincoln once said, don't skip leg days, guys. I actually get a lot of compliments on my legs when I rock pants like these. I, I do, I do, I seriously do. Um, they're all from guys, but that's okay. Okay, so I'm gonna briefly go over the workouts and their purpose, but if you're not interested in any of that, then I'm gonna leave a timestamp right here where you can just skip to the video workout package that I made. I'm pretty proud of it. So if you like the workout routine, you're interested in seeing the rest of the workouts I have in this six day workout routine, then bench that subscribe button so you can be notified when the rest of the videos come out. And a real quick plug, please check the links in the comments, well pinned in the comments and in the description. Those are supplement websites with my discount code. We've got a couple sites there and you can find my Instagram and my TikTok account or I'm starting to post on TikTok every day. All right, so the first workout we're gonna do in this workout routine is the leg abduction and the leg adduction superset. I'm doing three sets here. The first two sets are going to be moderate weight. The last set is going to be slightly heavy weight. I wanna make sure my hips are nice and warmed up before I head over to the squat rack. Um, yeah, my inner thighs too, all warmed up. I found that this is the best way to maximize my squat. It just allows me to have uh, more control over my squat so I can lift a lot more. Now that we're all warmed up, we're jumping into the squats. I'll be shooting for four to five sets. The first three sets will be 10 to 12 reps. The fourth set will be six to 10 reps. And the last set will be my max weight, which would be around one to three reps. Next is the calves. This will also be a super set and it's going to be three to four sets 10 to 12 reps. The superset is going to be seated calf raises and standing calf raises. Now, why both you may ask? Well, the calf is made up of two main muscles here. And when you're doing the seated calf raise, you're working the soleus muscle, which is the lower part of the calf. And when you're doing the standing calf raises, you're working the gastric nemius, which will be the upper bigger part. So if you want to eliminate the curse of skinny calves, you have to hit both. Also, it's best to hit this early in the workout or just getting into midway of the workout because it's less likely that you'll skip them or not hit them as hard because a lot of people tend to save the calves for the end of the workout or they're not hitting it as hard and therefore they're not seeing results that they want to see. I was a victim of this myself, so hell, you can start the workout doing calf raises. Unfortunately, the gym that I recorded at does not have a standing calf raise machine. So I did it on a linear hack squat machine. Next is the reverse lunges. Now the reverse lunges puts more emphasis on your hams and glutes. The normal lunges, the forward lunge, puts more emphasis on the quads. So you gotta just pick your poison there. All right, so we're doing pretty good so far. And if you don't feel like you have to puke yet, then you need to be adding more weight. Next, leg extensions. Now for the leg extensions, I like to put the seat all the way back. This gives me a great stretch, um, but you don't have to do that. It's really more for advanced lifters, but we're going to be doing three sets, 10 to 12 reps again. The first set or two, I wouldn't be against doing about 15 reps. Okay, so this is the last workout. Um, we're going to kill it with hamstring curls. Your hamstrings will 1000% be dead tomorrow. So for the seated hamstring curls here, we're going to be leaning a little more forward when we're performing the movement. I actually learned this technique from a YouTube fitness channel called Eugene Tao. Um, I tried it out myself and I really felt it. So by leaning forward, it really puts your leg in a stretched out position and it feels really good, uh, especially since you don't have the backrest for support. It actually does feel like you're accomplishing something by working out your hamstrings in that way. So try out both ways yourself with the backrest and without it and you're going to feel a huge difference. All right, now we're going to see the workout in action. 